Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am doing a vlog from our most recent trip to New Mexico. We stayed in Red River, which was stunning, in a yurt in about 10,000 feet <laughs> elevated. And so I'm going to apologize now. You are going to hear me gasping for air um, later in this video, um, but the elevation was really real. I'm going to take you through our drive here just a little bit because the views are stunning once we get to Red River. Stay tuned. After this drive, I will show you our yurt adventures. If you are considering a trip to New Mexico, um, I highly recommend it. There is so much to see, but just honestly, the views here outdoors are just enough to make me want to come back. Once we arrived in Red River, we stopped at this Red River Brewery Company. This restaurant was our absolute favorite. We stopped by here two more times during the week that we were here. Um, so highly, highly recommend this place. We ordered a really large soft pretzel with beer sauce for our appetizer. And then we also each got a flight of beers, which I do not recommend doing that right before you have to climb 10,000 feet up a mountain. We also each ordered a giant burger. So rookie mistake, do not fill up on beer and food right before you have to climb a mountain. We are on our way to our yurt. So we have to walk, how long? A mile. A mile ish to the yurt so we have a little wagon we have to backpack there so and we just ate <laughs> so we're full and so this will be fun and it looks like it's uphill um, but if you've never been to a yurt it's basically like a hard shell tent and this particular yurt has no insulation so there is a like a little fire pit. Oh, and we have an outhouse. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, there is no cell signal here at all. So this is like true off the grid, which is fine. Actually kind of looking forward to that. But um, you know, if there's an emergency then Hopefully that doesn't happen. So on our way to the yurt, we got lost by like 30 minutes the wrong direction. So we had to turn around and we were like on some dirt trail. Um, but now we're at the right spot, but we're following all these trails that are basically marked with, see that little tape right there on that tree? Just that. So, Sorry, I dropped the handle. So now we're we're lost again. <laughs> um, but now we're racing the clock because we're trying to get this done before the sun sets. Um, so I'm gonna sit here for a minute and he's gonna go check out a sign that we think we missed, but y'all, I mean, here, I'm gonna try to turn you around. <sighs> okay, those ladies own this place and thank goodness they like came strolling up and they're like you lost so um we were heading the right way we made this much harder than it had to be so now we're on our way um and i think we probably have like 0.8 of a mile left so thankfully right now we're kind of going downhill but they did say there's a couple uphill climbs so So anyways, I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. So 
so it's <laughs> it's like a little hut um it's pretty cute so it's made out of this like tarp stuff if you know anything about yurts this is not new to you but it's like a fabric inside is really neat so there's not a whole lot of light because there's not really there's no electricity here but it actually came with a ton of stuff so we brought a bunch of unnecessary things these are cool we'll pull these out tonight outside little stove we won't need this it will not get cold enough i mean it'll probably get down to 40 but <laughs> my husband and i are super weird in that we like to be cold we brought our own pillows but they have one two three four um what are these called futons four futons and each one has pillows but we brought our own so i'll just probably use those um and then we brought our own sleeping bags yeah so that's the inside i am really out of breath walking one mile uphill and not just uphill like up a jagged hill with a cart was just no fun cozy <laughs> my husband's like wait we're sleeping in two separate beds <laughs> but who knows if we get cold enough we might be little spoon big spoon okay beds are made so <laughs> we might share but if not our heads are at least together right and not feet to head <laughs> Okay, so I have a severe fear of spiders, um, legit fear, tiniest ones, I mean, doesn't matter what size they are, and I had read an article before we came here that October through September is tarantula mating season, so I was trying to figure out a way to deter them, not kill them, but um, I don't want to kill them, I'm not going to be that person. Um, but it said cinnamon. So I'm going to be the crazy person who walks around this year <laughs> sprinkling cinnamon. It doesn't kill them. They just don't like the smell and it makes them go a different direction. So seriously, I'm going to walk around this whole thing sprinkling my old cinnamon. Because I think this one's expired. We'll see. <laughs> So we're like 10,000 feet up, I think is what my husband just said. And we walked like 90 feet and I am winded. I cannot breathe. And we're going to start this fire pit over here. And we're not going to do anything else. I'm going to be honest. I'm done. So I was going to explain why we are here and where we are. Um, so right now we are in Red River, New Mexico. Um, and tomorrow we'll be in Taos, New Mexico. Um, so today we came a day early um, to just hang out and do this ex yurt experience. Uh, we're trying to start a fire. That is not working out, as you can see. And we're losing light out here. So we have this little lantern and maybe we'll give the fire pit another shot soon. But anyway, tomorrow we're going to go to Taos and there we'll actually stay in a resort, a shower um, and electricity. And so that'll be much appreciated for us. So our trip 
here is for my husband's sister's 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Candace. Um, his family has a tradition that um, when they turn 40, they get to go on a trip. So my husband was first. He was the oldest. And so two years ago, he chose Durango, Colorado. And that was literally five months before the pandemic started. So that was great. It was carefree. <laughs> carefree. Um, and then now this year, um, Candace picked Taos and it is gorgeous here. I mean, it's beyond words, beautiful. And so I'm really excited to actually get into Taos and check that out. Uh, my husband found this hot air balloon, um, little adventure thing. So I don't know. Um, the weather said it was going to rain tomorrow, but I'm kind of hoping we can get on that. I have a serious fear of heights, but I actually want to do that. Sorry for my lighting. I look like I'm telling a ghost story. Um, so back to the traditions is, so Candace is now, her birthday is actually tomorrow. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow is her, su Sunday is her birthday and we're going to go out to dinner for her. And then we'll be here until Wednesday and then we'll drive back home. And then on my way home, I actually want to hit up a couple of antique shops. Each and every time. morning so we made it through the yurt experience um i don't mean to make that sound like a bad thing i loved i it was beautiful last night um the only issue we had was so the forecast said it was going to be like 40 45 but 40 45 in new mexico is not the same as 40 degrees in texas because texas is so humid 40 degrees is fine, but we were freezing. So there is a, there was a wood burning stove. We fired that up and it was not putting out any heat at all. So we had started out with the two separate beds and we cocooned ourselves in our sleeping bags and we were freezing. So we did <laughs> share a bed, which I mean, we're married. We do that all the time, but, um, we were in a full bed and we opened up both of our sleeping bags and tried to cocoon ourselves into that but it was so cold uh but either way we made it through we saw the sunset or sorry sunrise um packed up and then we made our big long walk back to the truck and um so now this morning we stopped at a really cute um coffee shop called steamboat and it really it looks just like an old style steamboat it had the little steering wheel and so cute um and i got a chai latte it's delicious my husband ordered just regular black coffee with oat milk and um now we're looking for a little diner we're starving so the diner was packed so i didn't want to take any video in there because people um so I'm sitting outside right now waiting on my husband and I don't know if I'm ever going to get to a point where talking to my phone like this is not going to be a little weird. People are like, what you doing? Um, so we're going to check out this cute little candle shop over here and then there's this little mercantile. So I'll show you guys what we find in there. And then in true tourist fashion, I found this shop of like stuff that I have at home, stuff we have in Texas, but it had Birkenstock sandals. And I was sitting there like, Ooh, I don't have this color of Birkenstocks like in my local places. Uh, it was like a burgundy wine color. And I haven't been able to find that. We've only found like a light brown and a dark brown and a gold Birkenstock. And so, but they're so expensive. So stay tuned. I'll let you know if I fall into that hole. I'm also looking for a hat, just a baseball hat because it's been windy and just with tons of walking around and my hair is just going crazy. So it'd be nice to have some coverage, but it's so pretty here. It's like 50 degrees um, with the sun out and light breeze. It's perfect. Um, I mean, I would pick up my children in a half a second and bring them here and we would just stay here the end of our days um the view alone is reason to do that but 
it's gorgeous so we're gonna do a little shopping um taos is looking pretty cute um and then we're hoping to check into our hotel room around two and then uh shower up get ready and then we are gonna meet the entire family for dinner tonight at a place called doc martin's and i think it's mexican food i don't know can't go wrong with mexican food so One more place that you have to check out if you are in New Mexico is the Rio Grande Gorge. This place is overwhelmingly big. I have a huge fear of heights, but I made it across this bridge. It's so beautiful. Uh, you really have to just try to cross if you're afraid, um, but it is stunning, overwhelming, breathtaking. Thank you so much for watching my video. We had such an amazing time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like, and also leave me a comment and let me know that you're here. And I'd love to get to know you. I will see you all next time.